Hey everybody, good afternoon. Uh, January 31st, 2022. As you can see, uh, I'm not at my house where you guys usually do my work. Uh, got a call out real quick. This company's just kind of been waiting around for me to do some work for them. They finally brought it over to my yard because access to their yard uh, is limited uh, time-wise and my time is limited, so we really can't see each other on that. But I uh, got a, a F750, it's like a 2014, uh, 2015 F750 with a Cummins uh, that's having a, a turbo actuator problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this right now. I gotta get it done. They actually need it for tomorrow morning. So I may be here tonight uh, burning this midnight oil trying to get this truck done for them. But uh, let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, that's my little 7.3 IDI service truck. Uh, this is the company here. So they're a local company here in Palm Springs. Uh, as you can see, it has a Cummins in it. There's that mountain, you guys. Look at that. Beautiful out here. But uh, just got to get to the turbo actuator. Uh, they had another mechanic diagnose it. He said the uh, turbo actuator was a problem. So right now I'm going to go ahead and remove it and start checking to see... Uh, Start checking to see if the if um, if the turbo itself, the VGT, is seized and won't move, or if the actual uh, turbo actuator is the problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on that uh, repair right now, and I'll keep you guys posted on it, and just let you guys know what's going on, show you a few videos on what I'm gonna do. And uh, eh, there's my little yard, you guys. It used to be full of trucks, but insanity drove me to start releasing some stuff and just not take in so much work. Uh, that's a F-350 that I planned, single wheel that I planned to, I bought it for myself a few months ago and, and I'm gonna set that up as my new service truck here eventually. This is a 7.3 uh, Power Stroke that I gotta rebuild. This one actually is kind of abandoned with me right now. Uh, some tourists from San Francisco broke down here like eight months ago. Uh, it's got a 6.9 IDI, uh, the engine seized up. So just kind of been waiting around to see what they want to do. I don't know, I may lean it eventually and keep it for myself and turn it into my own little uh, traveling camper or whatnot. And then this is a Cummins that has a no start on it. I should have about two more trucks in here, but they're back at my house. I have another Cummins over there at the house. And, and I have, uh, uh, actually I have, I think two Fords and, and one Cummins over there in my house that would be over here. I just haven't had a chance to get them over here. Uh, as you can see, there's my truck and trailer. That's usually what I use to, to bring them over here with. You guys have seen it in a few videos, but all right, let me get to it and I'll show you guys what's going on. Uh, yeah, let me get on this repair because they're on my butt. All right, see you guys in a bit. 